Thanks for dropping in. Last year, I designed this 3D printed gift card box. It's a fun way to add extra flair to a popular gift. But what ultimately happens to the card? There's a good chance it'll wind up in a cluttered drawer, buried and easily forgotten. This week's project aims to fix that by gathering all those cards into a single dedicated wallet. A wallet with a book-like design that makes perusing your cards a quick and easy task. A novel solution to a messy problem. The wallet is made out of a bunch of mini stackable inserts. Each one takes only about 30 minutes to print, so make as many or as few as you need for the cards you want to hold. These inserts are printed vertically and require no supports, although they are quite thin, so a brim wouldn't hurt. The inserts have a built-in clip, which is surprisingly strong. A typical bump or shake isn't likely to dislodge a card. Those who wish to live more dangerously can print a looser clip version. When used in a book with a lot of clips, these sit a little more flat than the standard design. That extra risk may be a worthwhile trade-off for very large books that are going to stay safely on a shelf anyway. This project comes with several cover options. This blank cover is perfect for remixing your own designs. Or you can use a 2D printer and print your favorite book cover and just glue that on. You already saw this filigree cover. It uses a free design I found on Bekdisi.com. It's by Takashi Ishikawa. I'll link to their original files in both the video description and the project itself. If the filigree cover is too intricate to print reliably, this knock cover offers a simpler geometric option. This hexagon cover uses many different subtle elevations. That makes it a great candidate for lots of color swaps. And finally, the project wouldn't be complete without a skull cover, although I'm not sure what gift cards would fit with that thematically. This is one of those projects that's more meaningful as a customized gift, so I wouldn't be surprised to see lots of great cover remixes in the future. I've printed an extra batch of parts, so let's assemble another book. The first thing to note is that the clip inserts are actually three slightly different models, a start, an end, and a middle. The start and end inserts are flattened on one side, so they can sit flush against the front and back covers. We only need one copy each of those special inserts. Any additional cards will use the middle designs. To hold everything together, you can use flexible TPU filament, sewing elastic, or extra strong thread. I'm going to use TPU because I have a lot of it on hand and it gives the book a nice springy feel. To assemble, we just line up the parts and thread the filament from the back toward the front cover. Now we'll just thread it back again. And back and forth a few more times until we've gone all the way up the spine. At this point, you have a few options to secure the TPU. We could tie a small knot so it can't slip back through the hole. Or we could melt one end into a blob, which would also trap the filament. For this print, I'm going to use a drop of super glue and then press the filament into the slot in the back cover. I think this option looks the nicest. Unfortunately, if I decide to change the book's inserts in the future, I may need to reprint the back cover if I can't detach the TPU cleanly. To finish the design, I'll glue on this cover of the Fellowship of the Ring, printed on glossy photo paper. If you plan to print your own cover, this area is exactly 60 millimeters by 90 millimeters. Not quite a standard book ratio, but close enough to fudge it. Next, we load in the cards, and there we go. This project was largely inspired by the recent wallet design contest on printables.com. By the time you see this video, that particular contest will be over, but some other prompt will have taken its place. If you're looking for design inspiration, those prompts and the hundreds of models created for them are a great place to start. I recommend checking it out. So until next time, happy printing and thanks for stopping by.